Hey, what's up, guys? This is Platinum214, or you can call me Matt, or Platinum, or Matthew. Doesn't really matter, but... Anyways, I have this Tesla coil set up right here. Um, This is actually the whole thing. It has its little its drive board and its transformer. Converts it back, to down, wait, back down to 12 volts from 220, so... It's a little surprising, but not really. Let me let me put this camera in focus. Would you focus for me? Thank you. All right, let's turn this thing on. Let's put this camera angle up. I know it's very loud. All right. So that's it. Let's check. Let's get the lights. Um. So. Yeah. This is my Tesla coil. Sounds like a freaking. I don't know. It sounds like what? 40 hertz? I don't know. It <laughs> sounds like a subwoofer, but a weak one. Like a small subwoofer. You know, it sounds like my car. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like my car. <laughs> um, Because I have a little rice burner. But anyways, this is how big it is compared to my hand. This is like three fingers right here. And it, the, the, the arc is like... What? It fills up that much space. But anyways, what I really want to show you was... What it would do to a plasma ball. So let's get this fit right on. Let's fit this right on. Alright. Let's turn it so it doesn't lean to one side. And uh, let's, let's, let's actually zoom out a bit. Or let's get the camera angle up more. That looks about right. Okay. So. Let's. Let's get the lights first, actually. This is an 8 inch, this is an 8 inch in diameter, or no, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I totally forgot my geometry right there, but this is 8 inches. I, that's not, I don't even know, whatever. Let's get this turned on anyways. So yeah, that's what that looks like. This, it lights up the whole ball, and it's really nice. It actually turns on the... We have like a china cabinet in the living room and it has a like you know those hinges it's like it has um hinges to the doors that open on it and one of the the top right hinge is like touch screen or like you every time it feels that you touch it it turns on the light inside of there or it what do you call it it has a dimmer switch it's actually a dimmer switch so it, you can have the light dimmed or really bright. It actually has four settings. Dim, a little bit dim, and bright. <laughs> so, that's what this Tesla Pro does. It, it loves to turn on that freaking China cabinet. It loves to do that. <laughs> it gets really annoying. So my mom's like, what the hell? Because she's always sitting in the living room. So, she's just sitting down and she's watching TV. She sees this China cabinet turn on. She's like, what the hell is going on? I was like, mom, it's the Tesla coil. So yeah, that's what it can do. Pretty surprising. And it's loud. I already mentioned that, so I need to mention that right now. And I'm pretty sure it really doesn't hurt with one hand, does it? Um, it actually does hurt. I didn't even feel that, or well, I did feel it, but I didn't see it touch me and that started to get hot. <laughs> and if you put your hand over it, you can feel all the heat. And I know you can't really see the spark itself because my camera's lifted up. Totally forgot I did that. But yeah, that's it right there.
I gotta kinda yell at y'all because this damn thing's so loud. Um. Anyways, in the future, I will be doing other videos of this, and I will be doing Minecraft videos also. I haven't done those in a while, so I'll be doing those soon, hopefully. Anyways, so hit that like button, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see ya.